All right, so we're going to talk about some of the great ways that you can use the Octopus software and Octopus Blend. Uh, when you take a look at Octopus software, it's designed a little bit different than what you might be used to. Of course, we can bring in uh, existing content like what I'm showing on the slide right now. Uh, you can import actually uh, existing resources that you might bring in from Smart Notebook or you might bring in an IWB file that's been saved out from a Promethean uh, software platform. Um, and we have thousands of pre-made lessons that you can access and download directly within Octopus as well uh, that were developed by teams of master teachers. Uh, what you can also do is you can use this with any resource. So we're going to walk through just a couple of the basics of this. Uh, we have a tool palette over here, and really what we're giving you access to are 70 different tools that you can leverage with really whatever content you want to use them with. You have your standard annotation tools and screen recording and pens and window shade and all of that, uh, but you also have tools for math, language, arts, geography, science, and you have tools for instant polling or assessment, and you have our specialty tools for accessing our pre-made content or setting up uh, lessons for use independently by students in a flipped classroom or blended learning environment. Uh, so a lot of different options. Uh, right now we're in a session already and as I navigate through uh, students can follow along on any device so they can connect with uh, a Chromebook they can connect with an iPad an Android tablet a Windows device and they can access through th this through a browser uh, so they can access this through a browser or they can access it through an app so there's a couple different options of how students would join in and if we're going to pose questions or we're going to try to make this more of a collaborative session, uh, that's one of the great ways that we can do this. So if your students have access to devices, uh, we can do a lot of neat things with the application. And actually, if I wanted to pose a question here, so in which biome do lions usually, where, so in which biome are lions usually found, desert, savanna, tropical forest, or temperate forest? Um, students could choose an answer there and they can get immediate right, wrong feedback on their device. Uh, they could also uh, highlight answers, so if I wanted them to collaborate or give explanation, I might have them uh, circle the answer there and share that back to the group. So there's different ways that I can do that. And we'll do that on the Chromebook as well. So I might have them share that back to the group, and they're going to select that option there. So my students can respond in. Uh, they can get right-wrong feedback and we can track all their data. So we're actually saving the data when we do this. Uh, great for instant assessment. Uh, it has all of the power that you had with student response systems, uh, but using any device really that you wanted to use in the classroom these days. So that's one way we can use it, pre-made content here. And we're just gonna add something new into this activity. So we're gonna switch to our desktop mode because I wanted to show a different way you could use this as well. You can use this with any resource. So again, I could bring up a PDF. I can use tools over the top of it, and I can work with documents that way. So really, you're not limited in any way. You can use your existing applications, websites, PDFs, whatever you want, and build content on the fly uh, within Octopus. And then again, the third way, open up uh, a smart notebook file or an IWB file and bring in those resources. So any content, Great widgets that you can access and, and use on top of it, and pre-made uh, lesson content to access as well. And when I take it the lesson content here, um, we'll go through a whole section on how you can use this content in an online or blended learning flipped classroom scenario. Uh, but we've got this great blend option here where I can assign content for use uh, with students in the classroom as well.